We welcome each and every one of you to our winter musical, Anastasia. We want to remind you all to silence all of your devices. Cell phones are strictly prohibited in St. Petersburg. Leningrad. Oh, right. Leningrad. Oh, Dimitri, tell them to be wary of the loud noises and the bright lights. I think they can hear you. Wait until I tell them about the spies in the audience. Oh, oh there's no spies in the audience, Cliff. All right, uh, no flash photography, please. Oh, I love a good love story. Don't, don't spoil it. Oh, sorry. Anyways, sit back, relax, and enjoy Anastasia the Musical.
It's a rumor, a legend of history. It's the Princess Anastasia who will help us fly. You and I, friend, will go down in history. We'll find a girl to play the part and teach her what to say. Dress her up and take her to happy. Imagine the reward her dear old grandma would pay. Who else could pull it off but you and me? Backfiring, comrade, that's all it was. Those days are over, neighbor against neighbor. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You're shaking. There's a tea shop that's dusty here, and let me. Thank you. What's your hurry? I can't lose this job, they're not easy to come by. But thank you. I'm here every day. Siberia to find an Anastasia. Have you ever been to Siberia? I've never been anywhere else but here. What, the day I took up with you? Well, it was either me or a Bolshevik firing squad. You saved my life! A rash act of kindness. Completely out of character. Stop fiddling with that before you break it. I can't get it open. It's a fake. And how would you know? No one spots a fake like Count Vladimir Popov, the biggest fake of them all. I know it, those women ratted on us. And these think Peter's in jail. <laughs> I'm looking for someone called Demetri. 
Dimitri? D I'm Dimitri. Ah, what do you want? I need exit papers, and I was told you're the only one who could help me. Well, exit papers? <laughs> They're expensive. I've saved a little money. Well, the right papers cost a lot. I'm a hard worker. You'll get your money. What do you do? I'm a street sweeper. Ah, oh, a street sweeper. And Odessa, I washed dishes. Before that, I worked at the hospital in Perm. Well, they're a long way from here. I know. I walked it. You walked all the way here? From Perm? I had no choice. Who are you running from? I'm running to someone. I don't know who they are, but they're waiting for me in Paris. Well, you don't need exit papers. There's a canal out there! Jump in and start swimming! You'll be in Paris right before you know it! She's crazy. Mm. I'm not crazy. Why are you so unkind? Oh, we were hoping you'd be someone else. Who? Someone who may not even exist. I've been in this room before. There was a play. Everyone was beautifully dressed. This was the private theater in Count Yesipov's palace. People were polite and kind. She's fainting on us. Well, when did you eat last? Afterwards, we did. There was champagne, and I even stole a sip. Where are your manners, Dimitri? Get her some water and a piece of that cheese. This isn't a soup kitchen, Vlad. You seem to be a gentleman, even if your friend is not. Gentleman? <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a long time. Life hasn't been easy for my young friend. Life hasn't been easy for anyone. Thank you. Don't be too quick about this one. Her? You gone crazy too? I'm Vlad. What's your name, dear? I don't know. You don't know? Well, they gave me a name at the hospital. Anya. They told me I had amnesia and there was nothing they could do about it. Tell us what you do remember. They said I was found by the side of a road.
might be able to help you out after all. It just so happens we're off to Paris ourselves. Great-great-grandmother. Uh, Princess Victoria of Saxe-Culture-Solfell. Your best friend is... 
Mr. Alexi. That's wrong. Your best friend is... I know who my best friend is. A temper. I don't like being contradicted. Well, that makes two of us. Continuing on! Now there's your great aunt Olga. How's she frolicked on the Volga? Uh, your distant cousin Varnia loved his vodka. Got it on ya? Uh, the Duke of Odin was short. Louis of Bonham. Justified. My own office with the view of the Nesky Prospect. A Russian telephone that works. That was a joke. We have wonderful telephones. <laughs> She's here. Sir, our little troublemaker has been found. It's a remarkable city, our Leningrad. All those people down there are coming and going, creating a future for themselves. I stand at this window for hours, admiring them, and wondering why a few bad apples are getting up to mischief instead. I can see all the way to the old Yusupov Palace. A funny business going on in there. Counter-revolutionary behavior, some would say. Why was I brought here? I thought you could tell me, comrade. You, the frightened little street sweeper. I had almost stopped looking for you on the Nesky Prospect. Anya, am I right? Yes. I'm Deputy Commissioner Gleb Baganov. It's the uniform in the office that make the bad impression. I'm really not that bad. See, I have a sense of humor. You're shaking. A friendly cup of tea will warm us both up. What is the charge? There is no charge. Why should there be? 
You have a job, food on the table, a place in the new order of things. I'm very thankful. Which is why I'm warning you to leave this world of make-believe before it's too late. I don't understand. If you really are who you're pretending to be, they would kill you without hesitation. Everyone imagines being someone else. It's an innocent enough fantasy. No, Anya. A dangerous one. The Romanovs are gone, every last one of them. They no longer exist. My father was one of their guards. I don't want to hear this. When he was told to fire, he obeyed orders. <laughs> a boy left the truth behind the tent and no one got away I saw the children as the soldiers closed the gate the youngest daughter and her pride my father leaving on the night they met their fate his pistol by his side the Alright, alright. 
Alright, alright, alright. Wanna see what else I can do? Come at me. I wanna hurt all you. Alright, I believe you. Where'd you learn to do that? Well, I didn't walk halfway across Russia without learning how to take care of myself. You've had it easy. Not so easy. My father was an anarchist, and he died in labor camp for his convictions. My mother was already gone. I don't oh, really remember her. No one. I raised myself. I grew up on the sly. In the gutters and the streets of Petersburg. Just a kid on the fly. Getting good at getting by in Petersburg.
me. It's uh, not much, but every little bit helps. We're not even close, Anya. What do you say? I thought I could get us out of Russia before they closed the borders for good. You were the only hope I had. There must be someone else who can help you. I'm sorry. I don't want your money. It's your money. It's our money. I trusted you. I said I was sorry. But I didn't trust you enough. Now, you close your eyes. What for? You're the stubbornest person I've met. Almost as stubborn as me. Close your eyes. All right, put your hand out. It's a diamond. The nurse at the hospital found it sewn in my underclothes. She hid it for me till the day I could go. A secret she kept all the while, I don't know. She said, don't tell a soul till the moment you must. I had to make sure I found someone I Had it all this time without telling me? Yes. Why? It was the only thing I had. Without it, I had nothing. How do you know I won't take this and you'll never see me again? I don't think you will. Well, if you weren't a girl, I. Disaster! These more brothers have been raided! We're done for if we go back there! Mother of Moses! She had it all this time! I didn't trust either of you with it. I don't blame you, but never mind. All is forgiven. I love you, Anya. I'm trusting you to get exit papers, Vlad. Done! Hurry! There's a trip from Finland station at midnight. Right, I'll fetch the diamond. Where are you going? They owe me a week's wages. Every ruble counts. We're off to Paris on the train. I'm gonna sleep in a hotel. And take a bath! In a real bathtub! and intellectuals, and everyone the Bolsheviks want to be rid of. We will be traveling as members of the Diaghile Belarus. They've taken Paris by storm. God bless you. I recognize that woman. She's the Countess of Belidov. She's not just an aristocrat, but she's an intellectual as well. She's a dead woman on both counts. Train to Budapest on track four, Paris to Budapest on track four, all aboard! We should go.
waitress. I think for first class, we should be having champagne and caviar. There is no more first class. Everybody's equal now. You don't have to sound so damn happy about it. How dare you smoke without my permission? Who the hell do you think you are? I am the Grand Duchess Anastasia Romanoff. I want to train with a crazy woman. Warn us next time before you do that. I wanted to see what it felt like saying that was hard. It's a long trip. You have plenty of time to practice. In Paris, your first challenge will be the Dowager Empress's Lady in Waiting, Lily, the Countess Malabeski of Malabich. No one has access to her majesty without her. She sounds like a dragon. Not quite the opposite. Lily was beautiful, voluptuous, married. Everything I look for in a woman. She gave me a watch to have a diamond. Did you love her? <laughs> Madly, darling. But I love the watch. Well, what happened to it? Oh, gone with the old Russia like everything else. I hope Lily's happy to see me. Be honest, Vlad, pop up. How could she not be? I may have gone bad, but maybe that won't matter. Bottom line, I'll win her. Uh, we're getting off! The train is moving! Wait! If you want to end up 
And then you pull the trigger. And the job is done. Enjoy your new position, the telephone, the view. The, the Princess, Princess Anastasia. Alive or dead. It's up to you. Everyone's gone. Everyone imagines being someone else. It's an innocent enough fantasy. Underhanded girl, an act of desperation, and to my consternation, I let her go. She wants what she can get. Is that a fair depiction? Does she believe her fiction? It's hard to know. <laughs> Is it innocence or guile? Or nothing but a childish act of will? Nothing but a child, a wave who needs protection. I feel a strange connection I can't allow. She said it's all a game, she trembles like a flower. But in her, there's a power. I see that now. I get nothing but a man with nothing but his orders to fulfill. Tells you that she absolutely lies until your heart replies. But still, still, still. Paris, I was a young man. My waist was like this. Why have we stopped? I'm going to ask the driver what's wrong. Look at her rattling off with him in French. Don't be surprised if we get away with this vlog. She'll break your heart, Dimitri. Be quiet. What do you know about anything? 
They accept her as Anastasia, you'll never see her again. Well, as usual, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. This is as far as he goes, but we're almost there. He says, from the top of the hill you can just see Paris. Are you ready to be astonished? We made it. Even when I was mad at you, I never doubted you. Thank you, Dimitri. Oh, thank God. I can see the Eiffel Tower! It's true! It's really there! Oh. 